we are ranking the last nba 2ks the way we are ranking them are we are going to make this the most unbiased accurate 2k tier list you can possibly watch we are ranking them by goaded aka s tier good a tier mid c tier and just completely garbage Try! stay tuned until the end so that you guys can see my top three nba 2k 10. now in my opinion 2k 10 didn't have too much online they didn't have my park they didn't have any of that so we can't rank it by that but we're gonna talk about entertaining and just overall how the game was the graphics at the moment was amazing i do think even now you guys can see the graphics don't look like completely terrible for a 15 year old game in my opinion i'm going to put this game in good tier i think this was a good game I think that I can probably still play it to this day. It had all the people in their prime, Kobe in their prime, LeBron in their prime, uh, Shaq in their prime. Not really Shaq in their prime. Shaq was old. He was old for it. It being a, a older game, it definitely held its own. So I'm going to have to put in in good tier. I think it was pretty good. 2K11. And you guys might not like me for this, but we are going to combine NBA 2K11 and NBA 2K12. Because in my opinion, I think it's the same exact video game. The shot meter was cruised. I hated the shot meter. I don't know why they added that. So that's definitely undeducted. The entertaining, I didn't really find the game entertaining. I didn't like the game too much. I believe they added online to 12, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I would have to double check, but uh, they didn't have my part, so I'm going to have to put this game mid. Uh, 2K11 and 2K12. Now, NBA 2K13. We are going to keep this unbiased. Everybody hated this game, right? I don't know why. It's a lot of glitches. It was overpowered. Some people were overpowered. Moves were overpowered. But to me, I love this game. I was literally like eight years old when the game came out. So I was like having a time in my life. I don't know. I like the jump shots. I like how the shot meter was. I like how Park was. Park was the old street with the cages around it. And I'm pretty sure they implemented 2K My Park in a way, but it was just like black top and stuff. So they implemented that. That was like the first year I believe they added that. So in my own opinion, I'm going to put this game in Goaded. I that, That's me. I don't want to be biased. You guys let me know if, I, if that's wrong. Because I honestly will say that game was crazy fire. Now, NBA 2K14. NBA 2K14 was the year that they released the old gen ps3 xbox 360 nba 2k14 and i believe two months or three months later they finally added next gen at the moment was xbox one ps4 and to this day i think the graphics is the best graphics we've ever seen in a 2k even though it's so old but like you guys can see like how the jerseys are moving the facial expressions i don't know why we changed the graphics from this to what we got now because I think this was like perfect. They added uh, my park officially. It wasn't that good. They didn't add detail or nothing. It was simply like you walk around, no rep system. You just play. So I'm going to also put this thing in goaded. They did their thing. The two years, they did their thing. Now, NBA 2K15. If my cousins are watching this, they're going to hate me. But my park was starting to be at its peak in nba 2k 15 if you didn't know they had a 7-3 demigods dribbling like crazy doesn't matter who was in front of you if you can time your shot you're green in every single shot it was probably the cheesiest 2k ever just watching the gameplay and watching like how cheesy it is and you can't really do nothing it doesn't really matter how good your defense is it was a good game it was made but it was good i'll put it out good i'll be nice i'll put it out good i think a lot of people think the game is good so i'm gonna i'm gonna put it on good all right NBA 2K16. Look at you, he nervous. He just said shit. Oh, well, look at him. Oh, he nervous. He nervous. Oh, he nervous. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's just say this, right? I'm going to just name three things for you. The NBA 2K16 soundtrack was by far the most nostalgic, iconic, legendary soundtrack we would ever get in 2K history, bro. That soundtrack did not have one miss that soundtrack had people watching the intro for five to ten minutes don't forget the intro actually for the game you didn't even nobody even wanted to skip it you had lebron ad steph curry on the island whatever whatever you passed that right you skipped that and then you see the the loaded screen. Then you see the just the the screen to go to park and everything. Bro, it was just it was just amazing, right? And then my park was 
by far the most entertaining park you had the tigers it was so hard to level up you had people putting tape on their screen to see if their bar is even moving because they didn't have the percentages at the time then people had the, the glitches if you didn't know the six bro the, bro, 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 bro. the six seven demigods in 2k16 was unstoppable bro that was the first year i, I seriously got into 2k i learned i was staying up so late at night to play the game that game has so many memories for so many people if somebody was to say best 2k of all time a lot of people are gonna first think of nba 2k16 so without a doubt this is going to go to you're not gonna rank them from top three yet this is just a rough draft all right nba 2k17 now nba 2k17 they added the new shot meter that was on the bottom I think it was really satisfying when you get a green release on it. Uh, then you have Park. Now, Park was the same exact thing from 2K16. They just added Sunset Beach. It was just at nighttime. They added lights. It's kind of the same game, but if we're talking about gameplay, if we're talking about gameplay, that was by far the most smoothest gameplay you can possibly play in NBA 2K Park. Bro, you had everybody being a cheeser. Now, it wasn't hard to be a cheeser. You can learn the moves. The people that learned the cheese moves was not on the same level as the people that mastered the cheesy moves bro 2k17 was genuinely levels to my part bro there is actual levels it was actually skill based you have to actually go to park and have a certain center you have to have a certain point guard to run twos you cannot just go in there and do nothing because you're gonna get dropped off as soon as good people come by with that being said 2k17 is also arguably a go to 2k there's four goaded on the list unfortunately i'm going to put 2k13 down to good just because i can't be biased so we're gonna leave it right there and i think that's a good spot Ooh, yeah 2k18 i don't even think i have to speak about 2k18 my park was actually i think a, a five-year-old at a daycare could have made a better my park and for some reason i i don't listen man i don't work at 2k but bro when you went into park your graphics was actually cruised bro like the tattoos look like smudge it was just actually it was just terrible bro it was terrible gameplay but luckily that year is when you know fortnite popped off and we didn't even have to force ourselves to play 2k because if you didn't know most people just know that 2k is trash but they're gonna play it until the next one come out and they're gonna kill themselves by playing this trash 2k and this is gonna be the first section of the trash tier list because i don't think nobody liked this game i don't care what nobody says the gameplay was trash my part was, everything in this game was trash now we had nba 2k 19 now nba 2k19 they added neighborhood i believe they also added like a kind of a rep system it was just like a mid game it was it was a really really mid game damn near trash i'm not gonna lie it wasn't good i mean i don't really think anybody's gonna say that it was good but it definitely was not on 2k18's level so we're gonna put it on trash but it's the least trashiest so far right then we have NBA 2K20. Now, this game was actually not that bad. It was during COVID, so everybody was on the game. So I don't know that also plays a factor because it was the game really good or was it because we were stuck at home not being able to play or go outside? Was 2K20 really good or was it really just because we was all inside because of COVID? You know, obviously we can't do what ifs. We have to do what actually happened. So I'm going to put 2K20, the best mid game. Oh. It wasn't bad come up was good duke dennis was coming up everybody was coming up nba 2k21 this can honestly let's not even look at the tier list this arguably can be the worst 2k of all time it can be between 2k18 and 2k21 they added this shitty shot meter i don't know what in their brain thought that shot meter would be good and we would honestly want it to top it off 2k21 current gen was terrible and they somehow made a next gen version that was also terrible so actually now that i think about it this actually is worse than 2k18 because they made two 2k21 games and they somehow managed to make both of them completely oh. this is the worst 2k of all time so far nba 2k22 i don't even remember i don't even have no memories in 2k22 which makes it trash oh. All right, so they don't have NBA 2K23 and 24. 2K23 and 24 are both trash. So we're going to be doing top three. NBA 2K14, NBA 2K16, 
and NBA 2K17 for the number three best NBA 2K game of all time. We are going to be going with NBA 2K14. This game was really good, but comparing to 16 and 17, it definitely wasn't at its peak. It definitely was coming up to its peak, but it wasn't at its peak in my opinion. The graphics and the gameplay was amazing, but they didn't have the my park. So that's what's really holding it down. Now we have two games, NBA 2K16 and NBA 2K17. With the number two spot, we are going with NBA 2K17. This is number one for a lot of people, right? And the only reason why I'm not making it number one is because when NBA 2K17 was at its prime, we had a lot of people saying it was trash. And honestly, we were just lying. We were just complaining. When NBA 2K17 was out, there was a lot of people leaving NBA 2K17 to play NBA 2K16. They're leaving a newer game to play an older 2K game because it's more entertaining. I think NBA 2K17 was a little bit too cheesy. Definitely times that you can be playing the best you can possibly play depending on what build they are and what shot cards they have. You literally have no chance in winning. With that being said, NBA 2K16 in my opinion is the best NBA 2K game of all time. Just the uh, nostalgic of putting the tape on your screen to see if your bar is even moving because that's how many games you had to play. It's just so nostalgic and and I think that game's rep system is the best rep system we ever got. And 2K17 was also really good. But 16 was just definition of grinding in 2K. If you've seen a legend on 2K16, you know they are nice. You can even take a break and go to my team. And my team had Prime Cash Nasty, Prime OSN. Like, bro, we had almost every single game mode at its prime in NBA 2K16. Holy shit, I've been recording for 20 minutes, bro. All right, y'all. Now, if you like the video, like, comment, subscribe. If you have any more sports game, maybe like UFC, Madden, movies, anything, comment down below. What's your tier list? What's your top three best games of all time? You guys have a good rest of your day. You feel me? Click.